Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I have a lot to show you today. I have a lot of diamond paintings to unbox as well as some that I've not shown you or it's been quite a while and I just dug through my closet and I thought I would show them again if I have time. Um, and I have a few other little items so I'm going to dig in right now since I don't want this video to be longer than 30 minutes at max. However, I do want to let everyone know that I appreciate you. And if you would give my video a like, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you want to get future videos, notifications, hit that subscribe button and the little bell that pops up next to it. And that way you'll know when my next video is coming out, which I will have a few more coming up because I have more Timu orders. In fact, I just got notification that one is out for delivery today. So let's get started. Before I start with the diamond paintings, I'm going to show you a few other items that I picked up. So um, I don't have any ear pods and I don't even know how to use them, but I ordered this from Timu. And on the back, it says Lenovo. And this is the front. And I did take them out of the box. I checked them out. They fit in my ears fine. I'm really, really picky about what I, what I use to listen to um, podcasts and music on uh, like the plane and whatever. I don't really own any, but I just don't like the feel of anything in my ears. But this is what it looks like. And it's small and it's gonna work out fine. I've got to set it up, but it's a cute little carry-in case and it comes with its own charger. So I'm looking forward to getting this set up so that I could use this. The next item is something that I've been wanting for a while and it doesn't cost a whole lot. In fact, I'm going to put all the prices in the descriptions down below. So I'm not even gonna mention prices since I don't really have them handy. But this is something that is great for privacy as far as when you get mail and you have account numbers addresses on your packages and so forth. So I got the orange case and inside the case is a roller. It's pre-inked and, um, oh, well, there goes the lid. And what you do is you just roll it over the top of your package like this. And you can see that it really blocks out all details. I'm going to bend down and get this lid. So anyway, it was like a dollar and a half or something like that. It was really inexpensive. And I, I bad about shredding my documents when I throw them away. I just kind of tear them up. But I'm going to keep this handy and rub this over any confidential information. So and I wonder if I could if I could ink it up when it runs out of ink. I'm going to have to look into that. Okay, so I think what I've got, oh, and I've got some clips. I plan to use these clips to hold my diamond paintings to the side of my desk, but they're pretty stiff and they don't open as wide as the ones that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use these for other purposes in the kitchen. And um, I'll put that link down below. Okay, so... I wanted to show you, first of all, I did get the A3 size portfolio, and this is really nice, and I'm sure that you've seen this, and I'm sure that it's been demonstrated before, but you can use both sides. So you have 15 sheets, which allows you to keep up to 30 uh, completed or incomplete diamond paintings. Now, what I slipped inside was a 30 by 30 size diamond painting, and it's unfinished. And I put a book on it, and it really flattened it out some. But this is my Sacred Heart Jesus paint, uh, diamond painting. And it looks like the field is, the drill field is pretty good. Um, 
And like I said, it's a size 30 by 30. I'm not gonna really go through all the drills and everything. I'd like to do that, but like I said, I wanna keep this video short. So I'm just going to show you the package of the drills, just you know, quickly, and I'm gonna show you the, the actual canvases, the drill field. Um, so you saw the Sacred Heart, and I also picked up a small partial special, and it's very small. I actually gave one of these to my sister-in-law, and I liked it so much that when I got home, I ordered one for myself. So um, looking for the edge here. I'll tell you what, sometimes I have the hardest time opening things. Okay, so this is the Blessed Mother, and it's very small. It's, it's, um, doesn't even have the size. It has the, the number on the, on the, um, canvas, S175. I got this on Timu and it's got eight colors and you can see the drill field is around the veil area the faces on the baby jesus and the mother are pre-inked so those are areas that you don't put the diamonds and also their halos in the background is not an area that is sticky but um this is going to be a quick one it's only eight shapes and color and um, it came with the typical basic boat little wax square and pen and if you're a new diamond painter this is all you really need to get the job done and then these are the eight colors so I don't see any a B everything is the uh, colored diamonds that have no additional coating or shine. Okay, so moving on. This goes with the uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus. And um, I don't think there's any special ABs or anything in this as well. This is not a special partial. This is a full field, full uh, canvas. And um, it has 24 diamonds. And so it also came with the boat, the wax, and the diamond um, pen, which is a basic. And uh, Okay. Oh, and it also came with one of those little squishies in that particular painting with the Sacred Heart. Oh, and I also got this little tool. Has anyone ever used one of these? It is like a ruler, but it's got like little squares or circles rather. Well, it could be for squares or circles. And you put it on an area on your canvas and you can go ahead and put your diamonds in and they'll be, this is how I, I figure, they'll be really straight. I have a, um, a wedge or whatever you call it, a line straightener and I do use that, but I just thought this might be kind of neat to use and I'll just see how it works and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, I also have another religious paint, uh, diamond painting, and I love these. Now this one I think is just a woman praying, and um, I was hoping that there would be some sparkly rhinestones or some glittery sparkly diamonds, but I don't think there is. I haven't completely opened the package, but this is the one that I purchased also from Timu, all these are. And she's praying the rosary. 
and I'm very anxious to finish this one because I really would like to see it completed. I think it's going to be really, really gorgeous. And it has 23 colors and the field is really, really clear on this. Um, for me, I think it's exceptionally clear compared to some of the ones that I've gotten from Timu. And the canvas is pretty nice. I mean, it's a little bit stiff, but I, I like the edges real wide around it. It's, it's a, like a one inch. And the size on this is a 30 by 40. And um, it comes with the basic. And like I said, uh, 23 different colors. I hope y'all aren't disappointed that I'm not opening up the colors to show you, but um, let me know if you are, and I won't do as many diamond paintings that will take up a lot of time to go through all the diamond colors. Now this one I got for my grandson. Boy, is he gonna have a room full of sea creatures. I just love this. I, I wasn't planning to get any more for a while, but it is a conglomeration of sea critters. We've got a stingray, we've got the whale, the porpoise, we've got some fish, and um, they're under the ocean and they're actually smiling. All of them are smiling. And here's the thumbnail. Let me try to focus that. I don't think it's focusing, but in any case, you're not gonna really be able to see it. Well, if I back up a little bit, maybe you can see it. It's kind of a faded background, but um, of course I will show it once completed. I'm trying to hide my nails. I have a nail appointment today, but they're a wreck. I'm a mess. And right now I'm having a personal summer I am really hot, really, really hot right at this moment, but in a few moments, I'll be fine. Okay, this one is, my favorite things to do actually are landscapes, trees, flowers, and birds. Those, that is my thing. I already have one birdhouse that I did with some birds in it, and I love it. So this is a different one. Oh, by the way, the size on the, the laughing sea creatures is a 30 by 40. And did I tell you how many colors? 25 colors in that one with the dolphin and the stingray and all the different sea creatures. Okay, this one is 30 by 40 and it has 25 colors. It has two, three bird houses, and it looks like two birds, and blue sky in the background, pink and blue flowers at the bottom, and it looks like a blue, a red, and a purple bird house, and I'll show you the thumbnail in a minute. So this is the picture, and this is the thumbnail. And the drill field is okay. I think the hardest ones to read are going to be the letter T, but there doesn't seem to be anything that's confusing that looks like the letter T, but the letter T is in the blue birdhouse and it's just very faint, but I think I'll do okay with that. And um, again, this is a 30 by 40 to add to my birdhouse collection. Oh, and these happen to be all pre-packaged, so there's not gonna be any work on my end, and they all have their numbers on each bag. So this is gonna be super, super nice as far as prep work goes. I didn't know that. Comes with the typical 
boat, clay, or wax, and pen. Okay, so next I have, I ordered a mystery surprise one, and I kind of looked through the different ones, and this one I didn't even see on there, but I don't know. Since I have so many diamond paintings, I don't know if I'm even going to get to this one, and it would be probably one of the last ones that I have a desire to do. But it's a 30 by 40, and there's people out there that like butterflies, and so this might appeal to them. I like butterflies, but I'm not like super crazy about doing whatever this is. Um, I'll give you a quick glance at it. I don't know what's in the background. I just see butterflies and teal blue and a black. I guess it's a branch. I guess it's a tree. Here's the thumbnail, if that's helpful. Oops, wrong side. Yeah, and I can see it's super blurry. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, you get the idea from the overall picture. It is... 19 colors and it was like two dollars and 75 cents so and it comes with basic kit and lots lots of different colors and they're not pre-packaged they're in those crinkly bags so anyway let me know what you think about that one i would have rather had birds flowers trees landscape one of my favorites but it's okay Okay, so that one came just, this package just arrived, I would say, two days ago. And I went to Walmart to frame my dolphin, which I have on a previous video. And Walmart has these 8x8 eight eight frames. And you just pop out the glass, you front load it, you, you just pop out the glass on the front. It might be plastic. No, I think it's glass. And you put the painting in and then pop the glass back on it and it completely frames an 8x8 really nice um, it looked really good there's not much of a frame edge on it but it just keeps it flat protected and um, has a place right here that you can hang it or also has like one of this these doohickeys that you can connect so that you can just stand it on a desk. But anyway, th these were only like $2.37 at Walmart. Okay, so what I have next to show you are some more diamond paintings. We're at 18 minutes, so I think we're doing good. Um, so I got this one. It's got lettering. It's a 30 by 40 not sure how the lettering is going to turn out. I think that I saw someone show a finished one either in a comment or in a video and it actually looked pretty good so I went ahead and I ordered it and um, it comes with the basic kit and they're not pre-bagged so I do have prep work but um, this one says, be still and know that I am God. The Psalm, it's 30 by 40, like I said. Um, it's got birds in it and flowers. Looks like poppies and hummingbirds. And there is the... I hope y'all can see that better than I can see it. Probably not though. I think what I'm seeing, you're seeing. But anyway, it is a 30 by 40. And um, this is actually one that I do plan to work on rather soon. It's gonna be one of my um, top paintings that I do. Okay. And then I got this little one, which actually I might use the eight by eight frame that I just showed you. I used to have cockatiels, and when I saw this, all I could do is think about my Skippy that I used to have. I had a lot of different ones. I had a pair of cockatiels named Lucy and Ricky, and then I had a Luca, and I had a Chica, and I had a Chick, 
And I've had a lot of cockatiels in my lifetime. I've had birds for about 37 years, and right now I have two finches. They're Lady Gouldens. They're an array of colors, yellow, purple, green, blue, and um, two boys, so they won't be laying any eggs. They get along pretty good. They have their spats, but right now they're sitting together. Um, so this is the cockatiel, really cute. I don't know how clear it's going to be, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot going on. So just some flowers, and I love the colors on it. And it looks like my Skippy. So this size is 20 by 20, and it has 16 colors, lots of pretty bright colors, and comes with another tray, basic. So this one will be a quick one. I'm sure I could get this one done in probably a day, and I will plan to do that one rather quickly as well. Here's another small one. I have seen this one finished both in comments and both and also on video and I love flamingos so I had to get it as soon as I saw it it was like nope this is mine I'm gonna do this I think I gave one of these away as well but this is a 20 by 30 and it's 17 colors and it's like that it's probably the best picture you're going to get because the thumbnails don't seem to be focusing very well with my camera. And I might just need to do something to my settings to, to help with that. Which, speaking about help, I appreciate one of my viewers, one of my subscribers, they uh, mentioned that it was hard to hear me. And I know that day I had a lot of background noise, but still my voice isn't very loud. And she told me that getting a microphone really will help because her daughter had the same um, issue. So I put one in my cart. It's going to be a while before I get it because I'm ordering it from Timu. But hopefully that will definitely help so that you can hear me well. Um, so this flamingo, it's got three flamingos. It's got a yellow pink background with green branches on the trees. I just love the colors. It's really tropical to me in a, it's kind of a muted way. It doesn't have like bright blues and turquoises. It's more yellows, pinks, and greens. And um, I think it's gonna be really pretty. And it should get done pretty quick too because it's rather on the small side. This one I'm gonna show you next is flowers. It's a basket I've also seen one of my um, friends on video with her completed one. I bought this a while ago. It's a 30 by 40. It's got 40, 40, 40 colors. So this one is just popping with color all over the place. I love the background, the stripes. Um, they're navy and white. And uh, let me see, here is the I don't know why I even bother since it's not focusing, but that's the thumbnail. And then this is the this is the whole canvas. And the drill field on it looks really clear and bright. It's not faded like some of them. And so I don't know, I guess those are pansies. I could be wrong, but I just love the colors, the colorfulness and the packet of diamonds, all different colors are in here with the uh, basic tools that you need. And that one again is a 30 by 40. Most of mine are 30 by 40s. Okay, so this is an odd one. I don't know if I ordered this. I guess I must have ordered it. That's really silly. I ordered it. I just don't remember picking this out. But um, I will show it to you anyway. It is a, oh yeah, okay, this is like a cherry tree. It's a cherry tree or a pink tree, pink blossomy tree over um, a body of water, probably like a lake or a pond. And um, I think when it's finished, it's going to be pretty. 
it's a landscape so of course that's all about me because I like landscapes and that is the thumbnail and when I acrylic paint which it has been so long but I like to paint with acrylics my choice of pictures that I paint are always landscapes and I live in Florida and the a popular group of artists down here are the highwaymen and so I had gone to lots of their art shows or like exhibits and setups and museums and I've talked to some of them and I told them that I'd like to paint their stuff but I don't sell it it's mostly for my own practice and I do have a few paintings that occasionally I hang up and one of them Sam he I think it was Sam he laughed and he wanted to see a picture of it so I showed it to him and he said that he really liked it um and I was a little bit nervous because I didn't want him to think that I was selling art that I was copying, but he totally got it. And I told him I was not trained in art or anything like that in painting. I just do it for fun. So we got a good laugh from it and he was completely okay with it. But they're great artists. If you ever want to look them up and see their, um, their landscape scenes. They do a lot of those royal poinciana trees, those red blossoming trees. And um, a lot of them are actual, well, all of them are actual paintings from them sitting like on the edge of the water, like in Fort Pierce, and um, painting what they see. And they have jacaranda trees, which are those purple, purple flowering trees. And uh, just beautiful like their art and there's a lot of different artists and there's generations first generation second generation and um, they all have a little bit of their own style of course but you can always spot a highwayman photo they're really easy once you start looking at their art you can spot it okay moving on this one is a 30 by 40. Oh, by the way, that one I just showed you was a 30 by 40. Okay, this one I did show, I remember on a video, but I'm going to show it to you again. It is what I call a crazy chicken. I really want to do this one. Um, I think he has a really funky eye. And uh, so I, I don't really flatten these out like everyone does, but you can kind of get the idea. So this is a, a chicken with like a auburn colored eye and it's kind of large. But anyway, there is the thumbnail. And this one is a, what size is this? This one doesn't have a size, although it does have the DMC numbers, symbols and number. Oh, here it is. It's a 30 by 30. So this one's a 30 by 30. It's square. And um, it's got a lot of blues and browns. And uh, so I don't know what else much to say about this. But anyway, when I finish it, I will definitely show it to you. It comes with the regular... Uh, package container of beads and the basic kit. Okay. And last but not least, I have one more. And it is Jesus Holding a Lamb, The Lost Sheep. I have seen this one completed. I bought it before I saw it completed and I was glad that I got it, even though it looks really muted. When I opened it up, before I had seen someone complete it, I was like, I don't know, this is gonna be really one of those that you look at and it's just too muted. Like there's not anything that pops in it. But when you see it done, it just, it looks so beautiful. And um, now I'm getting a glare because the sun is really moving over to the front of my place. But anyway, um, there is, thumbnail and it is also a 30 by 40 with 24 colors and it's just precious I I just love this 
and um, I will show it to you when finished. Again, as the tools. So that is everything that I have for you today. I will have a Timu haul coming up with an assortment of clothing items, more diamond paintings. You know, I really need to stop. Just stop buying and stop buying diamond paintings. I've been ordering from all different sites. I mean, Diamond Art Club. I haven't gotten any of those yet. And then sites that I can't remember the name, but two or three here, two or three there. And it's getting out of hand now because I have enough diamond paintings really seriously to last me for years. Um, I might do a giveaway. I think that that might be fun. So I'm going to think about it and I'm going to definitely consider um, doing some kind of giveaway in my videos. And if y'all have any ideas on what you like as far as uh, diamond paintings, what your theme is, let me know. And um, I'll set one aside, show it on the, a video that um, is prior to the giveaway and that's what we'll do. So y'all have a blessed day and be kind to everyone. Say a prayer for me. I'll pray for you and I'll see you later.